Hello, 3D printing peeps. I'm here today with an update on the Creality Box, also known as the Creality Wi-Fi Cloud Box, also known as the exact same box that's inside the Creality Smart Kit. But today I'm talking just about this box. Yeah, the one that you can buy from the Creality Store from 10 to $20 on Amazon or eBay for 10 to $20. Some of the biggest setbacks of the Creality Box are the fact that it doesn't do time lapse, you can't print off your computer, and it only works with the Creality branded first party proprietary camera. Well, I'm here to tell you that as of right now, the Creality Smart Box supports third party cameras. That's right. You can plug in a Logitech web camera to your Creality Smart Box and it will work. This is a huge deal. Why? Because this box only costs between 10 and $20 and the smart kit costs closer to $60. Even in a good deal, maybe 45 or $50. So right now, if you have a Creality smart box and a Logitech webcam, you are ready to go for video monitoring of your Creality printers. Or perhaps you have one of these cameras lying around. You can go online for 15 or 20 bucks, maybe even less. I got mine for $10 on eBay and you can buy the Creality Smart Box, hook your camera up and be ready to go for wireless monitoring through the app on your phone at any time, anywhere you are. There have been some really nice developments in recent time for the Creality Wi-Fi Box, including the ability to upload your G code from the app or their website through your web browser and print using this box from your web browser or the app on your phone, as well as, wait for it, time-lapse. That's right, the Creality Box has now gotten time-lapse. We'll cover these things in one of my upcoming videos, but for now, it's super important to know that you no longer have to buy or use this Creality proprietary web camera. You can take your Logitech web camera that's been lying around in a bin somewhere in your office connect it to the Creality Box, and you can get watching your prints from the app anywhere you are right now today. However, I'm finding using the Logitech web camera to be somewhat unstable. I'm experiencing random disconnects and long waits before the video feed begins. These are things that I'm not experiencing with Creality's own web camera. I assume this is a driver related thing, and as time goes on, their updates We'll smooth that process out and the third party cameras will begin working as consistently as their first party camera. I do have some confidence in this because surprisingly, Creality has been really good and really serious about updating the features and the firmware and the stability of the Creality Smart Box. And in doing so, they're slowly turning this into a powerful, feature fold, affordable wireless connectivity device for your Creality printers. So if you own one of these Creality boxes and disconnected it because of disappointment, you'll be happy to know there's been many updates and it's a lot more useful today. You might wanna dig it up, grab a web camera, hook them up and see how it works. Update the firmware, of course, for the box itself and update your app. If you've done so, leave me a note in the comments below with how it worked out for you. Or if you're somebody who is on the fence about getting the Creality Wi-Fi box because you didn't want to have to use their proprietary web camera. Today's your lucky day. You can take out the Logitech camera you already own, connect it to your wireless cloud box, and you're good to go. This is great news for those of you who didn't want to pay for the smart kit. You can now just buy the Creality box and use your own web camera. If you've got one of these, and you've got one of these, and you decide to give it a try, let me know what your experience has been like in the comments, and I'll see you there. For now, you're watching Greg Adventure. I'm Greg, and connecting third-party cameras to the Creality Wi-Fi Smart Box is today's adventure.